So I'm gonna go get some of these. They're on sale right now because the Christmas stuff is out and all the garden has been put away. For all my fruit trees, I'm going to be doing this. I saw it on two channels and so I wanna try it. This is an all-purpose fertilizer spike, this tree shrub fertilizer spike. And watch me put all this in my fruit trees. I'm about to put these on all my fruit trees. I have about 40 fruit trees. It's really, really, really cold. Even though you see the little bit of sun, it's still cold. So I came out in the afternoon, hoping that I could get a little warm. Um, this one here is an all-purpose. And this one here, no, this is the all-purpose, and this is for fruit trees. Uh, again, what we're doing is very experimental, so I'm hoping that it'll work this for me this time, because this here is a plum tree. A plum tree, which gets a lot of plums. Every year it gets a lot of flowers and a lot of plums, but they probably fall down. It could be because it gets too cold after they come out, or it could be because they need some nourishment, and that's the reason why we're going to put these. And I'll let you know next year if it really works or not. As you can see, I have a lot of comfrey down here that I have to remove it because it's just too much comfrey. Oh, look what I have here. But anyway, we're going to remove the comfrey, chop and drop it. But I try to, I'm try i trying to get the, the, the roots on which go very deep because I have a feeling that's the reason why this tree is not giving me the fruit that I want. So here we are at the nectarine tree. It has, take a look at this. All of this is comfy. All of this is comfy. So first we take the comfy out. Phew, the wind is so loud. I'm gonna put one little stake on the majority of my trees, although I went and I bought them all from the store. I got around 71, 72 stakes, and so some of them will take one. Others will take two, depending on how big the tree is, how much they need, and the little tiny ones will all get one. Thank you. See, even though he has been cutting the, the comfrey, he's not completely taking all the roots out. I know, because his roots go really, really deep. So I'm not worried about destroying all the comfrey here. I have this comfrey and I have so much more everywhere that I, if I need more comfrey for this tree, then I will get it from another part of the other farm. But here we go. Thank you, Rich. Mm -hmm. That one. Yeah, around there. There we go. And it's as easy as that. And of course, I have so many fruit trees that need it. They're all gonna get at least one. There's just so much comfort. And now, what we're gonna do. My property slopes. So the stakes are going on the upper part of the yard on one side of the trees. So he's putting it out around three feet because this is a really big tree. This apple tree has benefited so much from the country. Look at it. I want you to see the girth on this thing. Look, when we, if this is not, well, we don't know how old this tree is because this was here, but it's not. It was, when we first came here, I could, I could grab the whole bark like this. This time I can't, and we've been here five years. So the comfrey does work to make it big and lush. However, it stops the growth, I think. Now this is experimental, so I think it stopped the growth of the, uh, of the fruit. It is now three months after the first video when we, when we first started putting the stakes. And I want you to see that it really has worked. This was the tree we were working on, one of the trees, my plum trees, and it's loaded, absolutely loaded with flowers. However, <laughs> the snow came and I'm hoping 
that they don't fall off. But the stakes do work. I can prove it now. You can see here this beautiful plum filled with flowers. I just hope they last and they stay on the tree even though it's so cold. I'm going to show you another tree here, which is my kefir pear way in the back. Look, my kefir pear has never been this full of flowers, ever. The most kefirs I've had has been 17, but it's just loaded, absolutely loaded. So again, the stakes do work. At least it's working for me. It's working beautifully. I just hope it doesn't lose any of the flowers again because I still have some snow on the ground. Gorgeous. We've had to protect this tree because between the snow and the deer, the deer will eat all the flowers. I lose all my fruit. So. We'll see if we can save some. Hope you like this video. See you later. Bye-bye. And as always, hit the bell, like, share, and subscribe.